Hey guys, good morning. This is Tyler from the Drunk Nerds Podcast. Uh, we are here. I'm, I'm here, I guess. It's, sorry, it's early. I am just now drinking some coffee here. Um, I know I'm a day late on this, but uh, I didn't get a chance to watch this Star Wars Outlaw, the story trailer that dropped yesterday morning. I uh, got home late last night, so I'm just going to watch it now. I haven't seen anything about it, so I have no idea what's going on. I've stayed off the internet, all that. I don't I don't know anybody's reactions. I don't know anything. I'm, uh, I just want to go in fresh on this for myself. Um, I can't wait. I know, I think most people were pretty pretty positive last year on the uh, Ubisoft forward was it Ubisoft forward at Summer Game Fest when they revealed the gameplay I thought it looked kind of cool obviously it's you know it's a you know they they built it ex- exclusively for that showcase so who knows how it's actually gonna play but I thought it looked pretty good uh you know I'm someone that <laughs> at times wishes uh he wasn't a Star Wars fan but damn when Star Wars is good it is the best so it's a uh, it's tough uh sometimes uh but um yeah, I'm going to live react to this. Uh, if, you, if you like this, please like, follow, subscribe, check us out. Gables and I record a podcast every day, or every day, every week on Saturday night. goes up Sunday morning. Um, and yeah, so if you can go check us out, subscribe. We do it's on podcast services, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, or all those places. There'll be a link in the description down below to get you to all those places. But appreciate checking us out. Make, make sure you hit that like button. And let's, uh, let's get started on this, baby. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy. It's the sucker for the sound. Distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Fuck. <laughs> we meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. Oh, okay. I'm in. So it takes, uh, takes place between I five and six. Die by your reputation. Okay. Survive. Know the players. You're new to this world. Just Jabba's. When you're not. Jabba, right? It is. Look, don't try anything. I got a whole. That little fat bastard. Okay, we're skipping that part. <laughs> For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Oh. Doing what we have to. Marty and Love. Look at that little bastard. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. (laughs) I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. Man, I'm loving this so far. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. I've seen we got some hookshot here going on. Looked like we had some almost like Assassin's Creed jumping. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. Day one by. Was there a date? I can't think of stupid. I'm on GameSpot's thing here, so did I miss a date? Um, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna watch the Xbox one. Maybe that won't be as annoying. Um, <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, like I'm not like I don't think this game is gonna be like a. I don't know. If maybe it'll be Game of the Year or not, but. Man, I don't know. I I definitely want. I like what the story parts are here. I I am a sucker for the the sounds and the music of Star Wars. You know, I tried to like, you know, I just want, wish I hated hated Star Wars because man, when, it's been pretty rough the, the last twenty years. There's been some good stuff, but been a lot of bad. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm really liking uh, well, Cave Vest here. Um, really like her. It's like I guess like this is kind of like you know they're we're all, we're doing like a Han Solo type here which honestly I'm, I'm fine creating a new character especially um obviously Han Solo is uh, in, uh little frozen right now and uh, was it carbonite I think it was I can't remember what it is now it's been too long uh 
but I really like what we saw here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in this. I am down for this. I, I do. I guess my thing is, I just want to see more gameplay, like how big of a game this is, because like it is made, being made by Massive, which I know um, that they made the Avatar game, they do the Division game. So I think the shooting will always be really good, um, which I think is, that that's going to be the thing that you do, obviously, the majority of the time. And it's going to be more of an open world game. Probably the most important part. Uh, I did like, you know, obviously these are cut scenes here, but like it was, it was, they show a little bit of her like jumping, like almost like Assassin's Creed like, and she had like the like the hook shot or zip line, whatever you want to call it. Um, are we on the Death Star here? Or is that just a Star Destroyer? I'm not sure. Um, but and I see that, that it could have been Death Star, but I don't know. I just, I, I'm really liking the, yeah, like right here where she starts jumping. I'm like, is this going to be an actual part of the game? Are we put a little bit of Assassin's Creed in this. This is Ubisoft, so. Um, yeah, I'm I'm absolutely loving everything here. Um, I don't know what the reactions are. I don't know a lot of people are the same way or not. Uh, but I I'm loving what I'm seeing. Uh, like I said, I just want I want I want to see. I hope we, I'm assuming there's Ubisoft forward in June. I think June 10th. Uh, I'm assuming that we're gonna get a big breakdown. Uh, for that because I'm assuming assuming the game is out sometime this year. And if they're doing a story trailer now, I'm assuming it's in the next you know few months here. Hopefully we get a date at this. I really do, or it's like at least like a timeline, like maybe fall or like I don't know, uh, August. Assuming Assassin's Creed comes out, um, you know, that's rumored Assassin's Creed Red is coming out in like this year. So I'm assuming that's like the big holiday game. So I bet this comes out uh, summer fall area. So um, yeah, uh, I just want to see more gameplay though. That's that's why I want to see here. Oh, August 30th. Okay, I missed that. Awesome. So yeah, uh, summer basically right where summer and fall meet. Um, that is awesome. Um, yeah, this is day one by uh, right now for me. Um, like I said, I do want to see the gameplay. I want to see what what plays like. What, what are we gonna be doing? Like, how Ubisoft are we getting here? Because like I, you know, I'm someone that loved Ubisoft games for a really, really long time. Uh, they were one of my favorite uh, publishers for pretty much. I'd say the, all of the th the uh, 360 era probably with all these Assassin's Creed games and like the, I, I really like the Watchdog game. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. And I'd say like the first half of like the PlayStation. Xbox One, PS4, Xbox One era there where um, they were just putting out, it was just a, every year there was like one or two really great, really great games from them. And obviously you know, the kind of, those games just kind of gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and I, uh, going back to like Assassin's Creed Mirage last year and just played a couple hours of it. I was like, yeah, I'm just kind of done with this the Ubisoft style. So um, I would love, you know, hey, if they can make a great Star Wars game, I think Massive can do it. Um, uh, that'd be great because like i said when when star wars is great it's it's one of, it's one it's just the best it's like the highest of highs for like things that you love for entertainment wise like there's not many things that like man when an awesome moment happens in star wars it's just better than pretty much everything else in the entertainment to me so i hope uh i hope they can nail it like i said i want to see the gameplay i want to know what we're doing time to time i don't want i hope it's like we don't see a map and they scroll out and it's the fucking size of an actual country and it'll take you three months to walk from one end to the other and there's 700 million icons in the map that you can do and it's like cool my 80 my 80 hd brain's gonna be like well i gotta do them all now and then we get 40 hours in i've done three percent of the game and i'm like well now i'm just mad because <laughs> my brain can't handle it uh but yeah uh i'm i'm, I'm pumped to, to see more of this this is a definitely uh probably one of my more anticipated games now uh i'm gonna go back i want to go back and watch that uh that you, the gameplay we got last year i think we're gonna do that but uh man I, great trailer i loved it um gables and i will talk about it more on uh saturday night it'll be up sunday morning for you everybody to watch uh on our drunk nerds podcast so please like i said like fall subscribe check us out wherever podcast servers are at we are there uh we're on twitter on facebook so, so when we post something you won't miss it so please check us out in all those places but thank you guys so much for watching liking subscribing all that fun stuff uh, i was tyler and i'll uh see you guys later love you guys